Hello everyone and welcome to Adam Shar Weekly. In this very small video, I want to show you exactly when the state changes actually happens, when your view is re-rendered again. So let's take a very simple example of a counter. So I'm going to go ahead and create a private var counter, which is integer, and we will initialize it with zero. And now I can go ahead and use this counter. So I can go ahead and display it right over here. And you have already done this kind of examples. It's a very simple example. And now we can go ahead and maybe wrap this in, in vStack because we also want to add a button. And let's go ahead and add a button. And the button will say, well, as you may have guessed, increment. And in the increment, we can go ahead and say counter plus equals to one. Now, every time the counter changes, the text is updated and we see the new counter value. So if I go ahead and run this application in a simulator, you will see that I can go ahead and press on the increment button and it will update. All right, so here is our counter example. I can go ahead and press on the increment button and you can see it's updating. This is pretty normal and this is kind of like the hello world of when you're creating SwiftUI application. Now, if you put a breakpoint over here on line number 15 and line number 12, let's go ahead and perform an update. Here we go. It took a little bit of while, but you can see that the body is being rendered. Now, if I let it go, I think I clicked it multiple times, so it's going to go over there and do it multiple times. There we go. If I click on increment again, since we are changing the state, which is right over here on line number 18, it causes the view to re-render and it re-renders everything. Now this is all great and it is re-rendering, but what happens if I simply change this value and say nothing over here? So in other words, although this is getting incremented, the counter is getting incremented, I'm just, I'm just not using the counter. I'm not displaying the counter on the view. Let's go ahead and run this example again and see that if the view is re-rendering when we are changing the actual value. So the first time the view is re-rendered. Now this is all great and it is re-rendering, but what happens if I simply change this value and say nothing over here? So in other words, although this is getting incremented, the counter is getting incremented, I'm just, I'm just not using the counter. I'm not displaying the counter on the view. Let's go ahead and run this example again and see that if the view is re-rendering, when we are changing the actual value. So the first time the view is re-rendered, there we go. Now I'm going to press on increment and you can see nothing is actually going on. For all the future changes, the view is not going to re-render again. As you can see, it's not even going to hit that debugging point. And the reason is that although the value of the counter is changing, we are not using, we are not displaying. So there's nothing in the state to sync up with the UI. So Swift UI is actually smart enough to only re-render when you are actually utilizing the value of the state and rendering or displaying it. So this is really, really cool and it saves a lot of, uh, basically a lot of re-rendering when we don't need it or if we are just changing that particular state values. If you like this video and want to support my work and my YouTube channel, then check out patreon.com uh, slash Azam Sharp. I have just updated the Patreon website and now it consists of two different tiers, silver tier and gold tier. By silver tier, you can get exclusive videos and with gold tier, you can get videos, digital content, uh, behind the scene, early discounted coupon for Udemy courses, uh, behind the scene footage and a lot more. And this is going to allow me to continue working on the YouTube channel and to provide you with a lot of content. So this will be exclusive to patrons. So please go to patreon.com slash Adam Sharp and contribute your amount. Uh, you will get access to exclusive videos I will be posting each week, which will only be available for Patreon. Now, if you're interested in my courses, check out the YouTube description and I have links to all of my courses in there and you can click and get access to the courses. Thank you so much and I really hope that you have enjoyed the video.